in a lot of ways, uh, doing a drawing like this um, should be done in the same manner that you would uh, actually constructing uh, the project on site. Um, you wouldn't actually build the walkway and patio or a driveway here first. You would build your steps up to the front door. Um, as you can see, we do need, uh, we have some elevation differential between the door and the ground, and we need to uh, put in a couple of steps. The easiest uh, place to work that uh, work on that is uh, on the plan view. I'm going to show you something uh, kind of neat, neat little tool. This little button down here called Edit Border. You could go to any border and add or remove it at will just by clicking it on and clicking it off. So that can come in uh, quite handy. Okay, um, we're going to have to build two four-foot uh, steps here. Um, so we're going to have to reduce our, our uh, walkway uh, drawing in here. So go over to Options, Edit Points, and then grab one of the corner handles and let's pull that back a uh, total of eight feet that way and we'll go over to eight feet this way and then we click off edit points we can go back to perspective and you can see I've kind of cleared the area ready for uh, some steps going back to plan view Build steps with, uh, ideally, you can use the patio stair tool, um, but I find that that uses the material, the same material for the tread as the riser. If you use the retaining wall uh, tool, uh, you can create a, a nice looking custom step. So let's click on retaining wall, and we're going to put our first wall in here. Now, if you notice now it's going straight. If I were to just go over here, and turn it on like that, you'd get that bowed effect. So if you were building a curved retaining wall, you'd use that bezier button. Otherwise, uh, this is your uh, your straight uh, line button. So I'm going to do our first drawing like that. And we've got our first step into place. That's one. Now if you notice, you can tell right away that we're a little too high uh, for the door. But let's not uh, concern ourselves with that right now. Let's go back to plan view, and we're going to need another step in front of this. There's two ways to do this. One is just draw another step, or you could use um, Control C, Control V, your copy and paste commands, and put in another step. So, bang, you're into perspective. Now you can actually begin to um, play with the height. So you have this uh, wall selected here. You can go to your um, wall material options and gives you your height here and we can start reducing our height down don't worry about that border disappearing and that won't hurt anything and once you're down to uh, approximately eight inches or so you've got your your first step now that's eight inches from the embedment here so really you want to be at 10 inches uh, for an eight inch step so that takes you uh, to an 8-inch step there. Then your second wall, you can make a similar adjustment to that just by lowering that. And uh, we've got uh, just about at the right height there, I believe. Now notice how our accent row is still showing here. Just simply go to accent row and row offset and you can just bury that uh, uh, or you can actually disable it right here. That's actually the best way to do it. So now you've got two steps, steps up to the front door, but you've got some uh, some fill to put in there and the pavers to lay in there. So um, now we're going to uh, to draw the uh, the inserts for those. So go back to plan view. It's the best uh, best way to do it. And go over to your patio tool. And now I've still got the snap on and now the snap is not necessarily um, going to take us to the right measurements. So I will take off the snap tool and begin to uh, to draw right here. If you hold the shift key down you'll be able to draw straight lines uh, that are uh, perpendicular and we'll go right into the dotted line there on the house and right back up and we're a little bit crooked here, but we can uh, easily edit that. 
with our uh, edit points tool. See that? You can just bring that into a bit of straightness. Perfect. So now we've got that one filled. My recommendation is, because it's the same size, is to do a control C, control V, and paste another one into the next um, one below. Now if you go into perspective, you'll notice that they're sitting way down at the bottom. Easy way to bring that up, of course, is uh, with your elevation. You can just bring that up and you can check to make sure you're aligning with the coping. There. And then we do the same for that one. We do the elevation. We bring it right up. Oh, a little too high. Down. With the border, we can decide that this is maybe a little too busy for the overall uh, look and feel. Um, so we can actually uh, we can disable the border on this, um, or we can make it the same material that's that's in the uh, the center area. So, but I think we're going to use our edit border tool and actually remove some borders here. Notice we could do just the horseshoe framing if that's what we want and um, that actually might look nice for this so why don't we uh, continue to do that click off edit border go over to the next panel edit border remove and now we need to put in some cop thorn in these uh, borders we'll select this cop thorn and notice how you get a little bit extra here that's because cop thorn is eight inches long and what you want to do is reduce that to eight inches and then we do the same for uh, the uh, the top one. So we'll go there and we'll change. Now if you notice there's a whole bunch of copthorn patterns here. We've got a basket weave, a herring bone, a running bond, and then a stacked bond which is the one you use for soldier courses. And it says the soldier course right down in here. So we'll click on that. Again we've got our, our 10 inches to adjust to 8 inches. And now we've got our nice looking step that kind of matches the rest of our project.